Well, I guess every video is going to start off the same. Episode 3 starts off with me and Kent at the cafe having a coffee and a croissant, vaps and other things. Today's the second official day of the event. It's all B2B today, so I'm expecting it to be much more mellow. So I'm gonna film some of the event today. We're definitely gonna shoot some of the event today. Oh, we can't, no, we can't go to the Eiffel Tower today. We'll try to figure, I'll try to figure out what something. What are you talking about? Diego said we can't go today. Why? Because the Vape Wave movie is tonight. It's another, it's the French vape documentary. It's like the French A Billion Lives. We'll just go in the afternoon. We're gonna ditch the middle of the convention and we're gonna go in the afternoon. What we're gonna do this afternoon is go shoe shopping. It's gonna take 10 minutes. Like those are dope. <laughs> I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, one correction that I have to make in episode one of Grim Green's European Adventure, I said that the French drive on the wrong side of the street. I was wrong. They don't. I just didn't know. I'm sorry. That's how you learn things, okay? Now I'm educated. Now I know. I apologize for being a big dumb American and not knowing where everybody, every country drives. Sorry. Um, I think there was another correction I needed to make from episode two, but I'm really not sure. Anyway, welcome. Today is gonna be a great day. Finally, it's been like two hours. We got distracted by shoe shopping, and then we went to the grocery store because all I needed was chapstick. Couldn't find it anywhere, and I bought Hot Wheels chapstick. Anyway, this is the outside of the Grand Hall where the thing is. There's the fountain, there's a Kent, and it's a really long walk. I feel like we've been walking for like four hours. How long do you think it's been? Probably about 20 minutes. Probably about four hours. So I'm gonna film some of the event. Really what I should have been filming for this video was the strange French shopping mall we went into where there was lingerie and condoms and no ceiling and it was like there was wires hanging down and then there was a vape shop from like 2010 where they were selling six euro clearomizers. One clearomizer for six euros. That's insane. Really good times here, though. Let's film some of the event. Hello. Hi. 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 Bye. Bye. Still really very busy, and I'm trying to find Kent. Kent. Kent, my ginger friend has left me. Oh, damn it. Okay, this is Francois. Yep. Francois. Yep. He runs a shop in France. In France. Yep. In France. Um, he just hooked me up with Lowrider, my favorite French juice, one of my favorite juices ever. I love it. So I wanted to publicly thank him. This is going straight to YouTube. Oh thank yeah. You. Yeah. You're gonna be on the blog. You're gonna be on the blog. Oh, there well, you go. it'll be tomorrow, but you'll be in it. Oh, okay. For sure. Okay. So thank you, Francois. You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. Yes. Lowrider, bro. Lowrider. And then Kent. And then Kent. Hey! Yeah! What? What? What do you think of Lowrider, Kent? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he says. Yeah. So, Lowrider, I'm stoked to be vaping French juice in Paris. It's one of my favorite juices. He really hooked it up. Uh, I can't thank him enough. Such a good guy. Got, gave me juice. It's what I'm going to be vaping today. It might be what I'll be vaping the entire time I'm here. Lowrider, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna be filming the most random stuff I possibly can today, so enjoy. Yeah, so this is Yannick. Yannick, am I saying it right? Yeah, Yannick. absolutely. If uh, you're a viewer of my vlogs, you remember a, a long time ago I shouted out Yannick for his book, The Faces of Vaping. This is it, this is, this is the book. That's right. The Faces of Vaping, it's in, what language is this, French? It's in French. It's in French, so I don't know what that says, but I know that it it's says The, the faces, faces of, of vaping. vaping. That's it. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, PGVG Magazine Special Edition. Look at that, that's you. That's me, absolutely. That's you on the back. <laughs> How long did this take to do? It took, uh, really, the book, like, three months. Oh, okay. Like, to choose the pictures, okay. to, uh, to choose the right layout, to choose the right paper, because uh, as you can see, the paper is pretty thick. Yeah, it's, it's not, nice. It's like a real photo book. It's not like a magazine and style. And it's like portraits of vapors. Look at that guy. Look at him. <laughs> He's in it. He's in that book. Awesome, man. And he gave me a copy, so. Yeah, it's for you. I'm going to enjoy and it. And even look more at it. copies if you want to give them yeah, away. Yeah, I'm going to give them away. Them. I'll give them to Kent. We'll give them sure. away. 
That's for you. Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Yannick. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. But don't take it easy. Slim. Like, oh. He's shy. <laughs> He's really shy, but his name's Slim. Say, just wave. Just say hi. Hi. Hi, Slim. He gave me some beers. I got, uh, look at all these beers. I got a bunch of beers, but the one I really want to try, because look how metal that is. It's Labette, right? Yeah. Labette. Not Labette. <laughs> Labette, not Labit. So, welcome to the beer tasting section of today's video. It's gonna. This is French beer, right? Yeah. Brewed in, brewed in French, France, Paris. No, no not Paris. Paris. Just, just French. Just France. The one from Paris, I didn't find the one I wanted to. Get to taste. There's, but there's a whole bunch of them. There's Salamandra. That looks cool. There's, uh, what's this one? Sombre Fol. That correct. I said it right? Almost. Almost. I'm getting there. I'm basically learning French as we go. Provocateur agent. It's good, but I want to try the Labet. Not Labit. Not Labit. Labit means something way different, apparently. I know what it means. Labet. 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 French beer. Cheers. Here's to you. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, the first taste is uh, strange, but uh, once you come back to it, it gets more complex. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> and he hand delivered these beers to me, and they're cold. So that's why I'm drinking them now, because they're cold. <laughs> and you get a nice cold beer. Labette. I really like this. It's got, it's the beast. Um, it's really good. It's super good. It almost reminds me of something that Firestone back in America would have done. Uh, it's like Sticky Monkey Light. Yeah, it reminds me of like a really lighter Central Coast quad. Super delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for beer. Slim. Welcome to Paris. Paris, yes. <laughs> Thank you. This is awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna end this uh, episode of Grim Green's European Adventure. We're all at a bar. Diego, Ronan, that's Jess. She's not paying attention. There's Kent, there's Aaliyah, there's that guy. Just wave. Ohm's Distro. Ohm's Distro, just wave. There you go, that's all you have to do. Yeah, that's good. So what we're gonna end today's episode with is uh, this new Zurich. What's it called? Zurich X? XR for Those, X Revision. The XR, Zurich XR, Twisted Mess's gold AF on top. I don't know anything about this mod. I literally just stole it from Diego. Looks to have some sort of it's Chinese. Chinatown edition. The Chinatown edition. So it's got Chinese symbols on it. It's got uh, like a MyTech switch right here. And directly on the other side of this is the potentiometer, and they feel the same. <laughs> so it's really easy to grab this mod and press the potentiometer <laughs> and not, uh, not get anything in your mouth hole. And then you go, oh, <laughs> flip it around, then there you go, the button, because the button sits flush, I mean, really flush. Really flush with it. But it does what, 150 watts? 200. 200 watts. On two 18650s? Quote unquote 200 watts on two 18650s. So that's a thing. The juice on the inside is from uh, this strawberry suit tie. Three milligram. What's the name of this juice? Oh, straw buried. Like straw buried, like buried, like in the ground, like a corpse. Pretty metal. It looks like Slender Man with a strawberry on his lapel, which is fine. It's good. Ronan described it as having a sewage flavor. <laughs> he said, you know that smell when you walk by an open sewer? You can taste it in your mouth. I don't think it's that extreme. It's more of like a, a, like a camping tent flavor. <laughs> it's a really, it's a nice strawberry. I mean, I've been vaping it. This is Diego's setup. I just stole it. But I've been vaping it and it's, it's good. It's nice. The strawberry isn't like candy strawberry. It's not like Fuse. It's not like anything Dwayne would vape. It's not overly sweet, but it's just right sweet. Like just good sweet, not stupid sweet. I don't know. I really want to get one of these Zurich XRs. They're bigger than the old Zurichs. The box feels bigger. 
one millimeter bigger on the length, uh, height, and thickness. One millimeter everywhere. It's one millimeter everywhere. He went one one millimeter all around. It does have. Can you take the door off for me? Yeah, of course. It does have the uh, prongs, like the like the the, the flawless like, box, yeah, the, like the tug tug life box, unregulated, behavior. and it's got the big fuse on the inside. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been vaping it. Um, my he this is off topic. It doesn't have anything to do with this. My Hexome 3.0 just stopped working. Like mine. It just stopped working. Like mine. But it works with the door off. I what? take the door off and it fires. I okay. put the door on and it doesn't fire. So. I need to get with craving. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, my other Hexome works fine. The red one I got for some reason that I bought off my own website, for some reason it won't fire. I think the resistance is too low on the atomizer, but I don't know what the door has to do with it. Um, but yeah, this, that's gonna wrap up episode three, Grim Green's European Adventure. Plenty, plenty more to come. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Okay, bye.